Monday, May 1st, 2017 at 6.30 to order. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of meeting agenda. Any additions or deletions? I would like to pull my report out of consent agenda and put it under number eight, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Any other public comment at this time? Okay. Number seven, consent agenda. All items listed under this consent agenda are considered routine by the Township Board and will be enacted by one motion. According to established Township meeting rules, there will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the Board or public so request it at or prior to the meeting, in which event the Chair of the meeting may remove such items from the consent agenda for discussion and consideration under agenda, agenda item number nine below. Approval of the consent agenda shall be a majority roll call vote of those present and voting. Sun's in my eyes, and I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> if, you if you want to slide over, that know that's really good. Um, our bills for May 1st, we have $91,821.86 in prepaids, a total of $269,315.12 in bills that will be paid tomorrow for a total of $361,142.98. Three sixty one one forty two ninety eight. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I make a motion we could we accept the consent agenda as written. Support. Motion by Trustee Clifford, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Deputy Clerk, roll call, please. Gurley. Aye. Clifford. Aye. Honnold. Aye. Kendall. Aye. Trombley. Aye. I make a motion we accept the bills in the amount of $361,142.98. Support. Thank you. Motion by Trustee Gurley, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Any other questions or discussion? Deputy Clerk, roll call again, please. Gurley? Aye. Clifford? Aye. Honnold? Aye. Kendall? Aye. Trombley? Aye. Thank you. Letter eight, uh, supervisor report. I just want to take a moment, and uh, Mr. Casson's here this evening too, which he'll be speaking about some advertisement. Uh, last meeting, there was a request uh, from the audience to um, verify his work hours. Uh, right now, um, Mr. Casson will be working, as we stated in the prior meeting, Monday through Wednesday, um, 8.30 to five. If Mr. Casson has meetings to attend, um, or other visits uh, relating to um, economic development or planning or new construction, uh, all those hours will go towards his total hours. Um, if there's no work for Mr. Casson and he would like to take off, um, I think we're all about saving money and we've agreed that if he wants to take off work and not work for three days, if there's nothing going on, so be it. That's fine with you, Mr. Casson, correct? So um, he's all about trying to save us the most amount of money as we possibly can and provide the highest level of service to the people uh, coming in here who need to. So I wanted to clarify that. So right now, three days a week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, if he's got other meetings to attend, then we'll go towards his hours. He does not have an unlimited work hour week, um, and uh, he's agreed to, to do that for us. So if no work and he wants to go on vacation, uh, we're not paying him vacation, nor benefits, uh, nor holiday pay. So uh, if he wants to take off, he's doing so without without pay. So thanks, Steve. As long as you're good with that, appreciate it very much. So does anybody have any questions regarding that? It's clear. We said we would do it the next meeting, so that's why I'm doing it. So thank you very much. Uh, number nine, unfinished business. There is none at this time. Number 10, new business. Fire Department Mutual Aid, Mutual Agreement Update. I'm sorry, Chief Boucher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I sent you a letter dated April 19th, referencing the document. I gave you the entire document. This is the new uh, Mutual Aid Agreement for uh, the Macomb County, all fire departments in Macomb County through the Macomb County Fire Chiefs Association. The 
This is one of the requirements uh, required by the state uh, with the agreement we signed two years ago, the Mavis Agreement. So now we're just upgrading, updating our local agreement. Our old agreement was only a two-page document and uh, it had no merit to it. Uh, I sent this to, uh, to Steve. Uh, Steve did a full review on it. He's very aware of this because he actually worked on uh, this type of document for a couple of departments, uh, jurisdictions in Oakland County. So uh, Steve said it passes muster, and it should because it was approved by the state fire marshal. So, um, so at this time, uh, I'm requesting the board adopt a formal resolution on the a number, the way it says she has one, uh, approving the adoption of this new mutual aid agreement through the Macomb County Fire Chiefs Association. And if, if approved, then I need all five board members to sign tonight. Are there any questions? I have none. In motion, please. Resolution number would be 2017-1. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to type it. I'm not going to put that in front of it tomorrow. In motion. I second. Is that a motion? Oh, I will make a motion that we. Um, approve and adopt the resolution for the uh, mutual aid agreement uh, our resolution number 2017-1 i second motion by clerk kendall supported by trustee clifford any other discussion questions all those in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed motion passes on the left side of the document you'll see where it says witnesses for Luann and Kathy and Michelle and Scott. Uh, Ron, you'll see. I'll sign right now. Here you go. Okay. Right now. So I'm sending the original out to all of you. So you need to sign that one. I want to too. Witness, please. Just uh, real quick, Ron, if I may. Um, this is more for public. Hold Michael, put you a little bit, please, okay. Thank you, sir. This is more for the public and the rest of the board. We experienced a uh, commercial structure fire yesterday. At the north end of the township, the second alarm was called. All our mutual aid departments responded. Uh, the fire was brought under control very quickly, and uh, in the fire service side, it's, it's quite a save. So our, our crews and all our mutual aid departments did an excellent, excellent job. So I uh, just wanted to tell you um, a little bit about that. Thank you. A source publication request. Mr. Casson, good evening, sir. Good evening. I am requesting an appropriation of $1,500 so that we can take a page, a full page ad out of the uh, Metro Detroit A source. It used to be called the relocation guide for Metro Detroit. This is a publication that's distributed. Uh, there's 10,000 copies distributed throughout the year. Oh, Just I'm sorry. 10,000 copies distributed. Yes distributed throughout the year and this also has a devoted web page i think what is different be between this and other publications is this is geared for people looking to come into the area to move into the area uh it used to be called the relocation real estate relocation guide uh, a perfect example is this was once used probably three or four years ago when take out the tank plant the former tank plant down there in, uh, Van Dyke was looking to move uh, 400 jobs up from Rock Island, Illinois. This this publication was taken down to them and, and distributed among them for those individuals to start to look for places in which to build homes, buy homes, and that. Uh, so it's not really preaching to the choir or such. It's actually uh, targeting audiences from outside that may wish to be moving into the, the township or the area. It's also going to target both businesses and uh, residential homes. Uh, I'm, I'm, we haven't done that, from my understanding, maybe for a very long time, and it's something I'd like to try and ask the uh, board for permission. Sure, it, and I don't know that we've ever done it during 
the last nine years, but one thing I can't comment on, the local one, uh, there's another new local one, they want 2,000 a page for something that would stay in county. I, I think he's hitting the nail right on the head. We need to go outside and not preach to the choir and try to capture uh, residents or business or uh, whatever we can from outside of the area to, to bring them in. Um, also, too, I checked with Mr. Kasson. We should get at least a year shelf life out of this publication. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, that's something, Steve, that will run to possibly 1,500 a year if we continue to do this. You know, it's, it's pretty much stayed the same. We are getting a discount, I know, because typically it was a little bit higher, but from my understanding, they were offering a, a discount this time. So I can't say what the, the price will be, but typically they're in that ballpark. Mm -hmm. If the price gets out of hand, we could always go smaller if we needed to in the future. You just can't put as much well, information that sound in. Bad. I, just, I was just curious. Yeah. Will you do the layout for the ad? I will help design the layout, but I will pass it to each of you okay. to, to make sure I'm not missing anything. Purposes. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of answered my next question. I was going to ask, uh, I'm assuming somebody's put together a promotional package to put on that ad, yeah, or the graphics, whatever. And I will sketch it, and then we'll look to you see. You need help, I'll gladly help if I can. That'd be great, thank you. Excellent. Any other questions for Mr. Kansas? I make a motion we appropriate $1,500 as per Mr. Casson's request to advertise at A-Source. A second. Motion by Trustee Clifford, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks. Appreciate it. 2017 Dust Control Program. Yeah, we want to call for that too, please, real quick, if you can. Good evening. This is the um, same program that we've had for the last few years. Um, all our roads for 3,000 gallons per mile. And last year we did two treatments, two applications. In years past, we've gone all the way up to four. Cost. Yeah, and, and once again, so everybody knows, this is uh, being subcontracted out. Um, a lot of it is, is weather related per application. Uh, the drier, the, the summer, the more dust control is applied. Um, we've been getting away with two. Um, we get complaints both ways on this. We get it if we don't do it, and we get it if we do it. Uh, everybody wants the calcium chloride only. Um, this is more of a salt brine, correct, Cam? That's correct. Right. Um, calcium chloride is quite a bit more costly. Um, we feel it's more effective, but nobody wants us spending that kind of money on it. They're offering the salt brine, Cone County does the first two applications. They pay for the first two applications. It's our responsibility after that. Uh, there's no charge. $22,440 is a charge for each application. Uh, we've been getting away with the two, and I think once again, we just watch the weather, listen to our, our emergency services, it's Cam and Denny and Jeff White, uh, let us know what the road conditions are. Uh, we'll uh, apply it accordingly. Cam, um, normally on when we do this, we do it two applications a year, and I noticed they're in May and June. Um, do we normally add a third? Is it is a bit of practice, or it's it's always been a practice to accept the two applications through the county and then purchase a third one to use kind of at will by the defendant. Yeah, last if you, year. If you needed a third application, you would come to us at a later date. No. You approve them now, we pay for them now. If we don't use the thing, you pay in advance, right? Yes, we would get a credit back. Okay, and it, it. the only thing I had looking at that questionnaire, and I even called, made a phone call when I, after I seen that, 
I noticed the spacing was May and June. Is that the normal practice? I mean, I, they indicated that it was depending, but it can be changed. Is that true? It, it can be changed. It's usually in correlation when, you know, they always try and create the roads and then put an application on. Not only helps. Well, I was just looking because we don't have, if you have, once you do the one in June, if unless we pay for it, we're not seeing one because that could last into September. Correct, and that's October. why it's always good to have that third one if, if it's needed. And we usually do it in late August, so right before the good old days weekend. Yeah, this is just so everybody knows too, this is coordinated with the Cone County Department of Roads. The one year we got bids from Macomb County and through the Salt Prime. Um, company. Yeah, the actual subcontract. We went with the county, which was slightly higher because we felt it would be better managed with the road grading. Well, when we gave them the bid, they turned around and subcontracted right to the other person. So that's why we go direct now. Well, they still did the road grading. They do the road grading, but right. they subcontracted their applications out right to the person that we could have been direct through. So we don't do that anymore. Right. So. Um, we hope they work together and work with us and coordinate it to the best that we possibly can. Okay, now we would have to approve that third application tonight. Correct. And I guess I'm of an opinion that we probably should do that. Correct. Okay. I would highly advise it that we, we appropriate for it, and if it's not used, we, we ask for a bank or we feel it's not needed to tell them in advance. They'll return Basically. the money. Correct. Right, and we can also tell them the May, that if the weather is going to stay like this, very wet, to postpone the May one, which would postpone the June one, and they would last a little bit longer. That's fine. I just, I had a couple questions, that's all. Yeah, no, good questions, very good questions. I mean, typically you see what's going on this spring. You know, it's a very wet spring, it's, it's going to extend, which typically seems like we have a a little bit of a longer summer before fall hits. So I think that third application will be very beneficial. Okay. I make a motion. We approve. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Could you, could you go to the, for the microphone, please, sir? Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Um, last year we got four. We got the two from the county and township paid for two. And uh, it's really needed. I, I live on uh, 30 Mile Road on the west side of the uh, township. And uh, you know, sometimes it takes four just to keep it in control. And what's our total for last year today? I'm pretty sure we did it four times. I don't think so, sir. I apologize, I grabbed 15 instead of 16. Oh, we did three. I know in the past we've done four and, and bought up to five, but I thought last year we only did the two through the county. There was two or three tops, that's what I thought too. We can find that out, sir, but you're, you're saying you'd like to see us reserve four? Yeah, and you get the two from the county and the, and the other two you usually get in. And if, and if you can, you know, go around them, go around them and cheat them. You don't mind doing it. <laughs> and I do know if there's an area where they've, they've done our area and there's complaints that it's not working, it's all evaporated or whatever, they will come back out and do that road again. We just have oh, to let them know. I, I can't tell you too, we did catch a mistake. Mr. Mr. Safe caught a mistake on our mileage. They had us listed at uh, we were paying for miles that we didn't have, so Mr. Safe didn't get a catch there. Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think you could, just for record, please. Thank you much. <laughs> but my husband, that was my husband, was just up here. And we live on 30 Mile Road, but we split between Ray Township and Lennox Township. And we are forgotten. 99% of the time because you don't come down the road because it's a split road. Now we're not the only ones, I think 29 does, 31 does, but they stop at Omo Road. They don't go any further than Omo. And we, grading, the, the this dust control, everything. We don't even, trash pickup, yeah, we, we lose out on all of it. 
So I don't know who makes the maps and who makes sure it's all done. Because that's an issue out there. And we call and even trash pick up. They, they pick it up four days later. So by the time the animals are out there and the roads are mess. But and the same thing with the dust control. We don't know when the dust control, my husband thinks that we've got more, I don't think we did, but if we, <laughs> I know that. Sorry, you're not agreeing with your husband. No, I'm not. But we didn't know, we didn't know who's got the dust control until we get out in our car and we're yeah. driving into town saying, hey, they did the roads, they didn't do ours. So, well, one thing, we, is it? one thing we would ask you, if you are experiencing any of those problems, Please let us know, and, and we'll yeah, do our who best. Who does the map? Who gives the drivers the map and says where to go? It, it depends on which one you're talking about. Trash pickup, I gave the drivers and the rock supervisor the map, and I've highlighted those few areas that get missed all the time, so he is aware of it. And whenever there's someone on vacation or someone's sick and somebody's filling in, even though the truck has that map, they might not look at it. And what about the dust control? Dust control, that's the county. County. Um, but I will give them a call and go over it with them. Okay. Thanks. I'll keep going. Well, thanks for letting us know. If you, and if you experience this problem, it's just the yeah. best way for us is to get a call from you, and then we can pass it on. Yeah, and Appreciate if you're having it. trouble with your trash pickup not being picked up, please call me by, by 4 o'clock on Tuesday and say our trash was not picked up. Because then I can still get a hold of them and I can get them back out there that very next day. If you wait till Thursday, I can't get them back out there till Friday. And then I'm not here on Friday to answer any questions if, you, if something else should arise. Okay. Thank you. So, do we have a motion? Any other questions or any other comments? Excuse me, sir. I was just going to say, um, can, if, I, can you come over? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave, you want to get the camera? Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, I was just going to say, if you know the routes that is going to be having the desk control, and if you want to put that on channel six, just uh, send us a um, email or a fax, and we can put those up for your uh, community. Thank you very much. Yep. Appreciate that. No, because I have the budget in my office, and I'm asking, do we know what's in the budget for? I think if, if and it's a guess, but I think we have two. We budgeted for two, and that gives us a total of four. Well, Does truly, that sound about right, Jeanette? I think so. If we've truly budgeted for two, then I would be willing to make a motion that we um, accept the two applications at no charge through the county, and also. Um, uh, two additional applications paid for by the township. Thank you. I second. Motion by Clerk Kendall, supported by Trustee Gurley. Any other questions or discussion? All those in, I'm sorry, go ahead. And if we go back to our budget and there's only one for one additional application, do we make two motions? Or do we have to revisit this again next month? I would leave it at, myself personally, I would leave it at the two. Like we said, but it's at our discretion for application. If it's not needed, we do not apply them. We are at the end of a fiscal year, so if there's only one in this fiscal year, if the other one happens after July one, it could be in the next budget. Okay. Right. And I would I would leave the application up to the discretion of the DPW. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> letter E, or I'm sorry, letter D, 2017 Lennox Township Military. Oh, okay. Mr. Manche, thank you for waiting patiently, sir. I'd like to step up to the mic. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I have prepared 
the uh, 4029, which is the millage rate request form and the associated millage reduction fraction calculations and the tentative form you have before you. Can you put that in layman terms, please, sir? This will be this to be uh, levied on the December bill for the township millages for the general operating, the library, the roads, and the uh, fire department. This is to adopt the village rates? Yes. That's what I was trying to get. <laughs> I will make the motion that the Board of Trustees of Lennox Township approve the 2017 property tax millage as follows. General op fund operating at 0 .8170. Library operating number one at 0 .8170. Library operating number two at 0.4522 and two special assessments as follows. The fire department operating at 3.2239, the roads at 0.9211 for a total of 6.2312 mills and to authorize the township supervisor and clerk to sign the Michigan Department of Treasury Form L4029 as submitted. I'll second. <laughs> Motion by Clerk Cadell, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Any questions or discussion? I'm going to roll call. The Deputy Clerk, roll call, please. Gurley? Aye. Clifford? Aye. Honnold? Aye. Cantell? Aye. Trombley? Aye. Motion passes. Um, one further thing, too. Uh, Mr. Monchek is going to be leaving us. And I have to tell you, I'm very impressed with you, sir. I want to thank you for your hard work here. I think you've done a fantastic job, and I'm going to miss you. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate the support that the board has shown, and the attorney has shown as well. And I will put most of that compliment back onto the staff that I work with. Well, time as a recent ex board review member, thank you. You've done a great job. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate your sentiments. You can come back. You don't have to leave, Troy. <laughs> I may come back on a periodic basis. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. All right, take care. Letter E, scheduled public hearing 2017-2018 budget. Scheduled. Nothing scheduled right now. Okay. And I'd like to make a motion that we set the public hearing for the 2017-18 budget for the June 5th, 2017 Board of Trustees meeting. I'll second that. Thank you. Motion by Clerk Kendall, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Any other questions or discussion? Deputy Supervisor, do you have any discussion? Okay. Do we, are we going to be scheduling a budget workshop? I'm assuming a couple of them before we then. We can set one tentatively. Uh, what date, do you have one in mind? Do you have a calendar up there? I yeah. do. Um, next week, like Tuesday or Wednesday, if possible. Not Tuesday. Not Tuesday? I don't have a calendar out. Wednesday? I guess it could be Thursday. If it's during the day, it could be Tuesday. I don't I think we need it after 3.30, right? We have, like, run aside scattered for me. Tuesdays now. Three. Would you like to do 3 to 5? And With things that come in a little bit. Wednesday is probably the best one next week. Will that work for you, Mr. Clifford? Next Wednesday? That'd be the 10th? Mm -hmm. 3 to 5? 3 to 5, that's fine. And any department heads, too, that would like to um, join for the last one there. And then we should do it in, I don't want to say the following week, but maybe the following week in two weeks. Let's let's set one tentatively. If we have to cancel it, we do so, but yeah, just in case. Yeah. I would highly advise it. Throw out another, Seven, another date. 17th through the 24th would be the next two Wednesdays. The 17th would be fine with me. 
twenty fourth, you're getting towards a Memorial Day weekend. Seventeenth would be fine with me, but I have to leave before five. Okay. Okay. Sound good? Sure. Okay. You have motion. You have motion. Um, I have a motion to set budget workshops on Wednesday, May tenth, from three to five, and Wednesday, May seventeenth, from three to five. Hey, sucker. Motion by Clerk Andell, supported by Trustee Gurley. Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank, Thank you very much. Yes, Mr. Jones. We were uncertain here whether there was a vote on the first motion that was made to set the public hearing. Thank you. Thank you. On the first motion, we do have we do have it recognized as who made the motion and who supported it. Any questions or discussion on the first motion? On the setting of the public hearing date. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. That's for the June 5th meeting. Correct. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Okay, letter F. Internal audit position publication request. Yes, we received word last week that Katie, our internal audit um, person, is give, serving her notice. She will be leaving. She's willing to stay through July to get things ready for the audit. And um, so at this time, I would like the board's permission to put an ad in the paper for the internal audit position. I think everybody has a copy of this is last the ad from the last time we basically did the same thing we do have money in the budget to have Katie and another person in place so that there's some training that happens there I did talk to Paul uh, Bailey this morning and he is also um, think trying to find out if he knows anybody he might Great. recommend Great. he also volunteered to look over any um, applications or resumes we received to see if he thought they were qualified the only thing I would I would say is if he had if he has somebody we don't need to right. to publish it um, that would be he didn't something. know that he had anybody okay so I'm thinking we want to get it published as I soon as possible I agree any other questions regarding that? You need a motion then, please? I'll make a motion that we advertise for an internal audit position. I second. Any other questions or discussions? Motion by Treasurer Honnold, supported by Trustee Gurley. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Number 11, public comment. Any public comment this time? No public comment. Number 12, closed session. Make a motion we go into closed session at 7.08, 7.07 p.m. You need to read the little for the purpose of discussing yeah. pending yeah. litigation. For the purpose of discussing yeah. pending litigation and confidential and privileged attorney client written communication with the township attorney. Second. Motion by Trustee Clifford, supported by Clerk Candell. Other discussion? Mm -hmm. Clerk. Gurley? Aye. Clifford? Aye. Connell? Aye. Candell? Aye. Trump? Aye. Thank you. Session seven or eight. Go back into open session at eight fifty seven or sorry, seven fifty seven. Motion by Trustee Gurley, supported by Treasurer Honnold. Everybody, clerk, please. Gurley? 
Aye. Clifford? Aye. Connell? Aye. Kendall? Aye. Trump? Aye. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we retain the services of Attorney Albert Addis to serve as co-counsel with the township's attorney in the litigation discussed in closed session this evening. I second. Motion by Trustee Gurley, supported by Trustee Clifford. Any other discussion or questions? Deputy Clerk, can I get a roll call on that too, please? Gurley? Aye. Clifford? Aye. Connell? Aye. Kendall? Aye. Trombley? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. I'll make a motion that we adjourn at 7.58. I second. Motion by Clerk Kendall, supported by Trustee Gurley. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Closed. Meeting adjourned.